Okay, welcome to part two. Again, I'm still making dinner. <laughs> I have this on the lowest thing so I could talk and do this. That's almost done. Um, so we talked about the most common demonic possession cases, old hags and Ouija board cases, but there are a billion of other ways you how. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still recovering from my brain injury and I'm getting tired and it's worse when I'm tired. So speech gets tricky. Let me try that again. Um, there are a million ways for things to latch to you, to you or come home with you and cause issues, but those are the most common. Um, so if you are experiencing things, I would try those first. The best thing to do if you do feel like you have something attached to you is pray. Um, you can, whatever faith or religion you are in, you can always Google protection prayers. I don't mock any religion and I don't mock anyone's belief because the power in protecting yourself comes from how much you believe what you're saying. The intention of what is coming out of your mouth is everything when dealing with this kind of stuff. If you don't believe what is coming out of your mouth, if you don't believe what's in your heart, nothing you say or do to repel anything is going to work. Like, if you don't really believe in God and you're saying prayers, it will be a, it will have an effect, but it's going to piss them off because you don't have the stamina to stand by with your conviction. When you actually believe in God, that's when God stands behind you and assists you. When you are faking it and you don't believe what you say, then there's nothing to root root to you to help you you need help you need protection we are only human that's why that side and this side works together you have to have the faith and the conviction when you are telling things to get out of your house you can't cower and be afraid of it you have to say no motherfucker this is my body this is my house you have to get tough like you're telling off the biggest fucking bully and believe that you are more powerful than it the only way to protect yourself comes from belief in what you are saying and doing and your own psychology behind it. You can't fake it when you make it in this kind of arena. That's why you should never play with anything you don't understand. Don't involve yourself in witchcraft. Don't do any fucking spells unless you do your fucking homework because that's also another thing that I help a lot of people with. I was a teenager. I was dabbling in things I don't understand and now my life has been falling apart for 10 years. Relationships are falling apart. My health is falling apart because you gave permission for a demonic thing to come into your life without realizing it and you don't stand up for it the more it latches to you. The more days that go by that you fear it, they have you. Everything when it comes to anything demonic is a parlor trick, like fucking Houdini. Everybody thought Houdini was real, that he was really um, transporting himself. He wasn't. It's not fucking possible. But he, he made the biggest, grandest gesture to trick your mind into believing what you were seeing. That is a demon. They slam things. They growl. They make you see things. They'll even um, send hellhounds like a dog in your house. You don't even have a dog. You could have a dog looking at you growling like they're going to bite your shirt out with red eyes in your house. That fucking dog cannot bite you if you stand in your conviction. Get the, I don't give a fuck, hellhound. Go back to hell where you belong. You don't got any authority here, motherfucker. <laughs> I swear a lot at spirits. I don't play. I give them zero room to trick or manipulate me, which means I do not respond to spirits until a certain point because the demonic ones are always the ones that come first and they always come sweetest or sad like you feel attacked you feel like you want to help them you want to figure it out and that's why a lot of paranormal investigation investigators get in trouble they believe they're talking to a little girl they believe they're talking to someone who got murdered but that person was never real they're telling you a tall tale and they're reeling you in 
The minute they have you hook, line, and sinker focused on them and not protecting yourself, all they got to do is mind fuck you like Houdini mind fucked everybody and David Blaine and all the other fucking ma magicians. They don't actually have any fucking magic. Nobody has any real magic. It's all parlor tricks. The only magic you have is in manifestation manifestation and willing it into the universe which comes from psychology and belief in yourself that it is out there and it is the same when you are manifesting and getting rid of a demon you have to project and stand by your intention tonight this demon is leaving my body or my home i'm winning there is no what if, if I might, or they're going to win over. No, there, there is no possible way they are winning against me. Period. You have to own your space and you have to own your body. And no medium, no fucking investigator that comes into your house is ever able to get rid of what is attached to you or your home but you. You are the only one. You are the one with the connections to it. I, as a psychic medium, will walk through the property with you and help you get rid of it. Don't ever allow an investigator into a home that you plan on living in, continuing to live in, without that intention, without somebody there to help you remove it. There is investigators that will do this, that have psychic mediums on their team. Their whole MO is not to investigate and find proof, but to free you of your ailments. Those are the people you want in your home. If it's more about getting evidence and doing an investigation, don't allow them through the threshold. Their energy is going to amp this thing up, tease it, and then they're going to leave you high and dry. And it's going to get worse for you. Sometimes they even put totems and symbols in your house to make that demonic thing stronger to hurt you more because they aren't here to help you. Just like demons have parlor tricks and reel you in by making you feel bad and sorry for it, so do fucking humans. They will pretend to be your savior and your saving grace. If they tell you that they're going to come in that house and they're going to get rid of that demon for you, that's fucking bullshit. I am a demon slayer. I can take that demon out, but as soon as I leave, that demon's coming right back to you. So there's no way I would go into that house and remove that demon for you that's not for your best interest that's not going to help you i'm going to bring you into that house i'm going to free you from that demon and then i'm going to remove it from this earth so that when i leave it don't come back for you there's very very few people out there that investigate all these shows you're calling all these people the more people that watch your investigation are putting energy into that demonic thing that amps it up long after the investigation is done you are opening gateways so many people walking this earth not knowing what the fuck they're doing playing with they have no experience you could go your whole life as a psychic medium you have no fucking business walking into an investigation or being anywhere near a demon or an exorcism or calling yourself a demo uh, demonology or in de in this if you have not been on this earth more than once it's above your pay grade sweetie you could be the most gifted medium on this fucking planet but you don't know what you're doing and all you're doing is walking in and putting that thing on yourself you're freeing everybody you helped but now it's all on your head and it will catch up to you most paranormal investigators have very hard lives down the road drug addictions marriages fall apart why is that because you don't know what you're doing you have to be I mean, there are a lot of psychic mediums out here that do know what they're doing. I'm not discrediting them. Don't be like, oh, this is a psychic medium. But remember what I said. If they don't walk in there with you, if they don't do it with you and they promise they're going to do it for you, 100% bullshit. You will only have yourself and God. Point blank period and that's all you need. 
or whatever you believe in, but it has to be true.